in this video we are going to be going over how to deploy your static site using Cloudflare Pages. Um, Cloudflare Pages is a Jamstack platform for deploying static websites. It has Git integration and is quick and easy, quick and easy way to deploy your static project. Um, so what is Cloudflare Pages? It's pretty much a Jamstack platform that just serves up static HTML files, style sheets, and your JavaScript files using Cloudflare's content delivery network. So it pretty much just makes for a very fast website, and it's just really easy to um, take your project from uh, idea to a live site. So without further ado, let's discuss how to get started with it. So a couple prerequisites are you need to get installed. Um, pretty simple. I'm going to be using my Macintosh. I already have Git installed. You're going to need a GitHub account, and you're going to need a Cloudflare Pages account, which is free. They have a free tier, uh, which is good for like personal projects and basic sites, and they have a paid tier starting at $20. But I think for most things, the free tier is going to be more than enough. Um, so step one is going to be creating our Git repo. So I'm already logged into my GitHub account here. So what we're going to be doing is uh, creating a new repository. So we're going to go over here to new repository. And I'm just going to name this sample, uh, maybe Cloudflare pages sample. How about that? And add a readme and we'll create the repository here. And we're just going to clone this repository. So I'm just going to copy the uh, SSH here. And then we're going to go over the terminal here and just clone this repo onto uh, our local machine here. So git clone and then your repo address there, password. And now we'll see that we have uh, this uh, uh, repo on our local machine. So from here, we are going to, um, let's see, we're just going to put some sample files that I've already created into this repo. So let's see. The uh, files I have made, you'll see them in, a, in just a second. But let's see. Okay, sample. So we have just a HTML file and a style sheet. So I'm going to copy these. And I'm just going to throw my throw them in that git repo that we made here. All right, so we'll see. Uh, it's an empty folder besides the readme. And I'm just going to paste those two files. So just the HTML file that's already got some code in it. We can see here on VS Code what I have. Basically just a just a one page website. We can have a look here. Um, what I have is going to be a simple one page site um, with a some basic CSS and a little JavaScript running here to show our uh, cool little text effect. Anyway, let me close that and I'll just show you here what to do to make this um, just a live website. So we are going to go and link to our GitHub repo in Cloudflare Pages. So this is assuming you already have your Cloudflare Pages account. If not, it's pretty simple. Just sign up there. I already have an account. So when you log in, you're going to see on the left here, websites, registrar, pages. Uh, you're going to click on pages and go to create a project here. And then um, just select what repo you want to link it to. We're going to use the one I just made, Cloudflare Pages Sample. And begin setup. So you get a, your project name. Now this is what your site will be. Uh, this is what your uh, address will be for your site, whatever your project name is. So Cloudflare Pages Sample will be Cloudflare Pages Sample dot Pages dot Dev. So kind of long. You can make it a little shorter if you want. So for this, uh, if I say sample, it's already taken. Um, so we'll say, we'll just make this a little shorter. Pages Sample. How about that? Uh, so that's available. Pages Sample. I'll just call it Page Sample. One S. But anyway, this is just this is just a a sample, really. So it doesn't really matter what the name is. You can change this, and uh, I'll discuss how to uh, link a an actual domain name to it, possibly in another video. But for now, um, we want to make sure that the production branch is main. Uh, here, you can configure your build settings. So if you're using 
uh, like a framework you can select that here if you're making a react app or view or angular or whatever you're using you can select that there i'm not using any frameworks so i'm just going to leave that as none uh, and build command um, this is if you're using like ruby node python um, but we're not using any of that here and um, pretty much all the default settings are fine so we're just going to say save and deploy and it's really that simple and you can see here that it is already building and deploying our site uh, this process really only takes about two minutes okay so as we can see once the build finishes after only about two minutes we can visit our site so let's check that out uh, let's see page sample dot pages dot dev and we should have there we go we should have a working site as you can see loads pretty quick everything looks good uh, at our web address here um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned a little something and uh, I'm gonna go over a few more things in my other videos such as how to use things like Cloudflare workers for setting up functions uh, which are particularly handy if you want to set up things like HTML forms for collecting data uh, and just building a more dynamic website um, but yep that's it Cloudflare pages you can get your static site up and running from idea to live site within just about five minutes